Uh, there's a video that I want to make sure we show in your PowerPoint presentation. I forget which slide it is. It's slide uh, seven. Seven. If we can pull up slide seven, uh, this is a great, a great illustration of of the effect of quantum dots uh, when they're bombarded by blue light. And this is how it works in in TVs, basically, right? You've got blue LEDs either along the edges or in a film behind the uh, behind the uh, LCD shutter array, and then you've uh, of quantum dots, and then you've got blue LEDs exciting them, and the reds and the greens and the blue from the LED, not all of which gets absorbed by the quantum dots, combine to form white light. Uh, and we have a great uh, movie here. Here it is. Let's take a look at this. There's no sound on it. So what we've done Tell is us what we're looking at. Yeah, this is a commercial iMac that we've taken and replaced the white LED strip with a blue LED light source. And we're inserting a tube filled with green and red quantum dots to recover full RGB back into the image. Right? Isn't so that amazing? Might, I want to play it again, but essentially the blue light without the quantum dots. So we've taken out the phosphor, right? So you're no longer getting a white light in the backlight. You're getting pure blue and that's going through the RGB subpixels in the front of the screen. Right. And but so, then, you're so, only, the, so there are there are red and green filters that are filtering this blue light, but there's nothing there's no, but blue light. Yeah, because there's no green or red component in that, right? Right. And so we're adding that green and red component back in, but in a very uh, pure uh, way and very well-defined way with the quantum dots so that you can get, in this case, I believe it was 100% Adobe RGB um, for this monitor. In terms of the gamut? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Right. That, that to me is just really astonishing. It, it really shows beautifully that you start with a blue light source, LEDs. You put quantum dots that have been specifically uh, engineered to emit red and green at particular wavelengths uh, under the bombardment from blue. And the, that blue and the red and green from the quantum dots combine and you get a full color image. It's, it's just really quite a, quite a nice display. Yeah, exactly. And and actually, if you go to the slide before that, I believe it's slide six, um, we can talk briefly about the different ways that quantum dots are used in displays. Mm -hmm. uh, slide six, I believe. It's So what what you're going to see is... That's, um, okay, so, yeah. The one no, before... Not, it's it. not slide yeah. six, yeah, so maybe five. Yeah, five, okay. So there here, you um, you'll see three different instantiations of, of quantum dots and how they're used in displays in an LCD. Uh, on the very far left is a quantum dot film. And you can see on the bottom sort of uh, a version of that. Um, and then in the middle, you see a schematic of how it's used. So it's actually sitting between the light guide plate and the panel. And so, um, and then up top, you'll see a 3D image of it. And so what's happening is the LEDs are shooting blue light into the light guide plate, which is redirecting that light out the front of the screen. And the quantum dot film is absorbing a lot of that and then re-emitting. Now, in this, in this situation, the quantum dots are at a much lower temperature because they're further away from the LED light source, um, probably closer to 50 degrees C, and they're also seeing a lot less light. So um, the quantum dots don't have to be as good, but you still need to use very expensive barrier films because quantum dots are sensitive to oxygen and moisture. And so without barrier films, the, the quantum dots would get bleached and they, photo bleached, and they would essentially not be usable for a product. So um, in this case for the film, uh, because you're using two pieces of very expensive barrier film sandwiching uh, the quantum dot layer, these films can go anywhere from 120 to $200 in a 55-inch TV. Very, very mm. expensive component. Wow. So then we move to an edge optic, and, and this is essentially what Color IQ is. This is what QD Vision makes today. And so if you have an edge-lit display, um, we put the quantum dot optic, which is a glass tube that's hermetically sealed and filled with the red and green quantum dots, um, that sits right on top of the LED between the LED and the light guide plate. So before the light gets redirected through the light guide plate, it has to go through this uh, glass optic and then get converted into um, green and red. Right? And some of the blue goes through. And so you end up getting RGB out the front of the face. And this is a much more uh, materially efficient way to, to do it. And so we maybe use 40 times less the, the quantum dot material, and it's much more cost effective. So mm -hmm. in this case, uh, our solution is... is generally speaking, 1% of the retail price of your TV. So if it's a $1,000 TV, we're like $10 add-on.